Give praise to the Lord, O my soul. Let not all his blessings go from your memory. He has forgiven all your sins. He takes away all your diseases. Psalms 103, 2-3 Hi fam, welcome to Sacrificial Love where we study the Bible and spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Today, we go over a couple of Bible verses about healing. After all, Jesus is Jehovah Rapha, our healer. He healed so many people in his lifetime. You can check out my parables video linked down below in the description box or my playlist on the Gospel of Luke to see the many times Jesus healed the sick. We all at one point or another need healing, whether physically or spiritually. So welcome and stick around till the end. 2020 Wow, what a tough year. I didn't see that coming. Neither did many of us, I'm sure. The topic of healing is relevant every day, but especially now because we are still in the midst of the pandemic. We all hope that 2021 will hold brighter times for us than 2020. But we cannot let our guard down, not for one second. But fam, no sickness is above God. Jesus is Jehovah Rapha, our healer. The Jesus that performed miracles all those years ago when he was living in this earth is still the same and he can do now what he did then plus more. In this video, we will go over 25 verses or rather groups of verses that talk about God's healing, whether that is spiritual or physical. I will be reading these verses from the Bible in the basic English version. They are in no particular order. 1. Exodus 15, 26 And he said, If with all your heart you will give attention to the voice of the Lord your God and do what is right in his eyes, giving ear to his orders and keeping his laws, I will not put on you any of the diseases which I ought in the Egyptians, for I am the Lord, your life giver. 2. Exodus 23:25 and give worship to the Lord your God, who will send his blessings on your bread and on your water, and I will take all diseases away from among you. 3. James 5, 14-15 Is anyone among you ill? Let him send for the rulers of the church, and let them say prayers over him, putting oil on him in the name of the Lord. And by prayer of faith, the man who is ill will be made well, and he will be lifted up by the Lord. And for any sin which he has done, he will have forgiveness. This verse not only talks about physical healing, but forgiveness of sin, which heals the spirit. 4. Isaiah 38, 16-17 O oh Lord, for this cause I am waiting for you. Give rest to my spirit. Make me well again, and let me come back to life. See, in the place of peace my soul had bitter sorrow, but you have kept back my soul from the underworld, for you have put all my sins out of your memory. 5. Isaiah 40:29. He gives power to the feeble, increasing the strength of him who has no force. 6. Isaiah 41.10 Have no fear, for I am with you. Do not be looking about in trouble, for I am your God. I will give you strength. Yes, I will be your helper. Yes, my true right hand will be your support. 7. Isaiah 53.4-6 but it was our pain he took, and our diseases were put on him. While to us he seemed as one diseased, on whom God's punishment had come. But it was for our sins he was wounded, and for our evil doings he was crushed. He took the punishment by which we have peace, and by his wounds we are made well. We all went wandering like sheep going every one of us after his desire, and the Lord put on him the punishment of us all. 8. 2 Chronicles 7, 14-15 
if my people who call themselves by my name and humble themselves come to me in prayer searching for me and turning from their evil ways then i will listen to them from heaven overlooking their sin and will give life again to their land 9 1 corinthians 10 13 you have been put to no test but such is common to man and god is true who will not let any test come on you which you are not able to undergo but he will make with the test a way out of it so that you may be able to go through it 10 second kings 25 go back and say to hezekiah the ruler of my people the lord the god of david your father says your prayer has come to my ears and i have seen your weeping see i will make you well on the third day you will go up to the house of the lord 11 jeremiah 17 14 make me well o lord and i will be well be my savior and i will be safe for you are my hope 12 jeremiah 30 17 for i will make you healthy again and i will make you well from your wounds says the lord because they have given you the name of an outlaw saying it is zion cared for by no man 13 jeremiah 33 6 see i will make it healthy and well again i will even make them well i will let them see peace and good faith in full measure 14 psalms 103 2 to 3 give praise to the lord O my soul let not all his blessings go from your memory he has forgiveness for all your sins he takes away all your diseases 15 proverbs 3 5 to 8 put all your hope in god not looking to your reason for support in all your ways give ear to him and he will make straight your footsteps put no high value on your wisdom let the fear of the lord be before you and keep yourself from evil this will give strength to your flesh and new life to your bones 16 proverbs 4 20 to 22 my son give attention to my words let your ear be turned to my sayings let them not go from your eyes keep them deep in your heart for they are life to him who gets them and strength to all his flesh 17 proverbs 17 22 a glad heart makes a healthy body but a crushed spirit makes the bones dry 18 romans 5 3 to 4 and not only so but let us have joy in our troubles in the knowledge that trouble gives us the power of waiting and waiting gives experience and experience hope and hope does not put to shame because our hearts are full of the love of god through the holy spirit which is given to us this verse talks about trouble in all shapes and forms so this can also be applied when one is ill 19 malachi 4 2 but to you who give worship to my name the son of righteousness will come up with new life in its wings and you will go out playing like young oxen full of food 20 matthew 8 14 to 15 and when jesus had come into peter's house he saw his wife's mother in bed very ill and he put his hand on hers and the disease went from her and she got up and took care of his needs 21 matthew 9 6 to 7 but so that you may see that on earth the son of man has authority for the forgiveness of sins then said he to the man who was ill get up and take your bed and go to your house 22 matthew 9 20 to 22 and a woman who for 12 years had had a flow of blood came after him and put her hand on the edge of his robe because she said to herself if i may but put my hand on his robe i will be made well but jesus 
turning and seeing her said, Daughter, take heart, your faith has made you well. And the woman was made well from that hour. 23. Matthew 11, 28-30 Come to me, all you who are troubled and weighed down with care, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke on you and become like me, for I am gentle and without pride, and you will have rest for your souls. For my yoke is good, and the weight I take up is not hard. 24. Mark 6, 56. And wherever he went, into small towns or great towns, or into the country, they took those who were ill into the marketplaces, requesting him that they might put their hands even on the edge of his robe. And all those who did so were made well. 25. Acts 28, 27. For the heart of these people has become fat, and their ears are slow in hearing, and their eyes are shut, for fear that they might see with their eyes and give hearing with their ears, and become wise in their hearts, and be turned again to me, so that I might make them well. Thanks for taking the time out to watch this video. I appreciate it. Always remember that it is important to go back a few verses and go ahead a few verses to get the context of the verses that I have read. I have just read a few verses that talk about God's healing. The Bible is full of them. All that happens to those that love and trust God is to the glory of God. It might be tough to see when we are in the thick of things. We often don't understand God's plan, but nothing catches God by surprise. If God chooses to heal you or a loved one physically, he will. But at times, our sick loved ones die, and many at times we are bitter with God. But please remember that if they believed in Jesus Christ and surrendered their lives to him, and you have too, you will see them again. As the song by Jim Reeves said, this world is not my home. I am just passing through. We believers need to remember that we are in this world only for a short time and that our eternal home is heaven. And the way to heaven is death, unless we are caught up in the rapture. But either way, we cannot go to heaven, our eternal home, with these mortal bodies made of dust. But whereas before Jesus dying on the cross, we did not have hope after this life on earth is through, we do now. Death is just a way we enter eternal life. It is not the end. If you like what you see, subscribe, like the video, click the notification bell so that you are informed every time I post a new video. Please feel free to share my video and let's spread the word of God together. God bless you my brothers and sisters in Christ. May you always seek refuge in him. See you in the next video. Bye.